Can somebody please let me know what the significance is of the Super Mario music in the background while we watch overweight, obese people, just ginormous, big-backed individuals consume high, high quantities of food? I just don't understand the lore on that particular front. Can somebody please break that down for me? Why is this the music that we are choosing to play? Why is it not like the Skyrim music, like the ambient Skyrim music? Why isn't it like, like the boss music that plays when you're playing Elden Ring or something like that? That one actually makes a lot more sense than the Super Mario one. I don't understand it personally because as a man with a mustache that identifies with a lot of people in the Super Mario universe, given the fact that I've had many nine-year-olds tell me that I look like Mario, I think, personally, I'm like the spokesperson for mustached men that occasionally are underneath sinks trying to fix your pipes. But not actually, because I, I don't have any expertise in that. But I'm sure if I watched like a 14-minute video on how to fix a pipe, I could probably do something. But I really want to know why we're doing this. And then also... Uh, eating an entire sausage pizza, everything up to this point was okay. The entire sausage pizza, though, is kind of crazy. And a little bit, I don't know if we're going for, a, like, homosexual innuendos here. Probably not. It might not. It just probably is just random that uh, a gay man, I'm presuming is a gay man. I mean, like, when I see a guy like this, uh, a dude that looks like he takes care of himself, at least to the extent of, like, skincare and all this other stuff, most of the time would be gay. But I could be wrong. I've never seen a dude do this before. Seems a little homosexual, but it's okay. You could be gay. I just think it's a little bit, you know, like sausage pizza. Like, oh, you had to have that one. <laughs> you couldn't get pepperoni or something, dude. Sausage. But anyway, I guess pepperoni is like our sticks too, but nobody eats pepperoni like that. But uh, at the very beginning when he had the corn dog with spicy noodle sauce, I never seen this combination before. At first, I, when I first saw that, I thought that was like jelly. I thought that was like jelly that you would get like the school lunches. You know, they give you like those little tubs of jelly at the school lunches dude anyway um pure big back behavior dude i don't know man we're starting to get back into the whole what i eat in a day videos just generic point of views like we're still gonna do Corey's world and stuff like that because his what i eat in a day videos are like insane and he like, seems like he's not ever taking accountability and maybe you might see a little bit of Corey's world in this video who knows yeah he really body slammed that shit did it easily too and you know what i see a lot of people that say Fat people don't eat a lot, David, you know? Like, you always say that. You always say that fat people are eating a high qual high quantities of food and stuff like that, but I never see it. That's the point. You never see it because they don't show it. They don't have to show you that. They're just showing you what you want to see because that is just going to encourage them to eat more because guess what? They're gaining weight, and guess what? Guess what else? They're making, they're convincing you that they're not eating a lot when in reality, dude, they're eating a lot. They're just not showing it, and for somebody like this, for instance, he might be showing authentically what he's actually eating in a day, but odds are there's probably more. There's probably way more. There's probably big amounts of food that are also being consumed on the, on the, on the, on the side quests, you know, throughout his day. Funyuns, of course. Uh, I, I was never a big fan. I was never a big fan of Funyuns. I know a lot of people love them, but I just never had a inkling for them. You know, and you know all the people that say like, "Oh, I'm a hot Cheeto girl" or whatever. Um, a hot Dorito girl. I was never one of those. I didn't like hot Doritos. I never liked hot Cheetos. Um, when it came to chips, I was very generic. I liked the you know what regular potato chips, the Lay's. And I think I liked regular sour cream and onion. Like, that was for me personally. If I have chips nowadays, it's going to be that. That or salt and vinegar. But I don't really even like salt and vinegar anymore, to be honest. But uh, if I'm having chips, it's going to be regular chips. But three egg rolls with sriracha. Sriracha, by the way, is a sin. It doesn't taste good anymore. Three of them, by the way. Get the fuck out of here, bro. And you know what? Oh. It's not even a good, it's not even the good version too. If you went to the grocery store and maybe you got the Ben and Jerry's version or you get the Friendly's version of ice cream, I would maybe forgive it. I would maybe forgive it. I mean, I wouldn't forgive it. I would still be calling you out on it. But still, it would be of much better quality compared to the greater value. And don't get me wrong. I'm I'm definitely shopping at the greater value version. What are you talking about? Most of the stuff that's in the greater value is exactly the same as the stuff that's regular named. The, 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 it's just off-brand. And it's the same quality, same whatever. But the ice cream specifically is outrageously not good. Like, I'm convinced if you put this under a light for 45 minutes, nothing would melt. But eating it with a fork? Do you not have a spoon? <laughs> there is nothing in your house that you could have emulated. Even scooping it up with your hands would have been better than eating it with a fork. 
it's just blasphemy, bro. These people can never do anything right, man. Eating it with a fork should never... And to hold it like this, too, man. Just sitting there body slamming that. And by the way, he's officially contaminated this. Because he's taken multiple bites at this point of just his mouth on the fork, right? Just... And then putting it back in there. Nobody's eating this anymore. This is just for his mouth. No one else is getting that shit. Because it's just backwash on this shit. Backwash, water juice all up in the ice cream. And if you like that, that's fine. Maybe you're dating somebody, that's okay. But I wouldn't even do that for my mom, my dad, anybody in my family. Because guess what? I don't want to contaminate a, a product that everybody's going to be using in the household. Why would I do that? I'm a good person. This person, however, not so much. It's not that good, bro. And see how he goes right back in with that shit, dude? Okay, here we go. Caesar salad with hot sauce. Um, Damn, hot sauce on everything, dude. Uh, unstoppable on that. But you know what? Caesar salad will give him that. Obviously, it's not the best of the salads, but it's a salad nonetheless. I mean, we are going from ice cream to salad, which is crazy. No water, by the way. Where is the water? Not sure. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Damn, bro. Bro, yeah, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up. I doubt that he's actually eating the stick of butter. Hold on, wait. How much does he actually eat of this? He took a bite. He took a bite of butter. He took a bite of butter. I don't care what anybody says. I know there are people out there that do, like, the butter coffees or whatever that just cut, a, like, a little thing of stick of butter and they throw it in their coffee and they swirl it around and stuff like that. You're gross. That's, uh, you're fucking gross. What the hell are you doing, bro? You're putting butter in your coffee? Out of everything you could put in your coffee, butter would never be anywhere close to the top, dude. And the fact that you guys incentivize it is crazy. I get it. Ketogenic and you're getting your caffeine. I understand it. But still, um, you're gross. That's that's absolutely not feasible for most people. And also, I think it's probably a more attractive prospect to go to a glory hole and lick the rim of the glory hole than it would be to cut some butter off and put it into your coffee. What is wrong with you? Stop it. That's gross. But... For somebody like this, eating sticks of butter, obviously most people are not eating sticks of butter unless you're, I don't know, ketoing, I guess. I think this last bit was just him fucking around or whatever, just to like, oh yeah, guess what, I do eat a lot of food or whatever. But uh, it's not like some, is it even something to joke about, dude? Just like digesting in your mouth a, a stick of butter on a stick, bro? It's crazy. Or maybe he did body it. I don't know, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, damn, bro. This guy's on a fucking... Cr is this like a binge session, dude? Jesus Christ, man. Even, like, even if he didn't eat the butter, which now I'm actually convinced he might have actually ate it. I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But to sit there and eat a donut ice cream, too, at the end of that? Dude, you already had ice cream earlier, and you were using that shit from the backwash water. I just, I just really want to know why we're doing the, the Super Mario music. I just never understood that, dude. By the way, this woman has been literally doing the What I Eat in a Day videos for, like, at least two years now. And it looks like she's gained weight. I'm actually... I really would love to know, right? Because it seems like a lot of these people that do the What I Eat in a Day videos still almost kind of, like, don't read the comments or see anything they're saying. Anybody that anybody says has critical comments, uh, they just continue. They, they just don't care anymore. And it's actually pretty impressive that you can go through the internet and have people say really, really vile things and try to help you out. And you just still go, nah, nah, I don't care about that. Because guess what? This food in my mouth... That's too good to be real. I need that in my mouth. I know people are saying that this is unhealthy. I know people are making fun of me. I know people are saying very, very bad stuff to me. But the food, the, the, the sensation, the lustation, the beauty of that in my mouth is just too much for me to... I, I just got to ignore everything else. There's nothing else in my life that tastes as good as the food in my mouth compared to what people are saying to me. soda of course gotta have a solid coca-cola uh f solid fat well how much are those like 140 calories 130 140 calories beautiful i mean absolutely impressive that somebody can liquidate their throat with something as terrible as syrup bro uh coca-cola is my favorite of all of the sodas but that's probably only because i grew up in america i'm sure that if you grew up in like the uk it would be like i don't know orange fanta or something like that or like some weird shit that nobody's ever heard of like what are you fucking orange fanta dude what are you talking about nobody drinks that shit but here in america coca-cola is the definitive soda and it's 
probably the mo most accepted one, but even still, it's not, it's not worth it, dude. It's just like there are plenty of other things that you can drink that have zero calories or maybe a little bit of calories. Like there are plenty of sodas out there that are close to zero, maybe 10, 20, 30 calories that would be doing the same thing for you here. I guess it wouldn't be the actual taste of Coca-Cola, but there's got to be some compromises. There's got to be some compromises somewhere, dude. Starting your day, too, by the way, I don't know if you guys have ever woken up and, like, ingested a Coca-Cola. That taste, that is, like, a fucking terrible sensation. Like, you feel terrible after that shit, bro. <laughs> Macaroni light mayo? I don't know what she means by light mayo. Dude, do you ever get tired of not knowing what you look like, bro? Like, do you ever get tired of having more than one chin? Do you ever get tired of, like, having these around your face consistently and down here having, like, two separate sections of your face that you just don't know why that that's there when you know that's not there? Dude, I knew a girl, okay, recently that lost, not joking with you, like 100 pounds, and she was probably 400, maybe even 450 at her highest, right? And then she lost some weight. She, she showed me what she looked like, and I was amazed at actually how beautiful she was because for a long time I thought she looked like a boiled foot that she just kind of was like a disgusting deplorable human being and that was only because she was fat but when she lost the weight and I looked upon her face I was I couldn't believe it she was beautiful I mean she is beautiful and uh that just kind of goes to show you that there are many aspects of your body that you just don't see anymore or you never saw because you're just so incredibly fat because you want to eat I mean, this is a girl that I saw that was literally waking up in the in the morning time, and she would go right to the freezer, forget about the water, forget about brushing your teeth, forget about the skincare, forget about taking care of yourself. You're going over to the freezer, and she would literally take out, I'm not playing with you, four ice cream sandwiches and body, body slam two of them in 30 seconds. The other two were there for the next two minutes, and she would do that consistently. And she had a little Debbie's. She would have the little Debbie. She would have the TV dinners, dude. Anything that was fast, convenient, it was easy to cook. That was what she was doing, and she would do that consistently. And guess what else? She had the Snickers in the corner of the room. She had a whole bunch of stuff that you would look at and go, this is some deplorable behavior. This is some straight big back behavior. And like I said, boiled foot. And she lost a lot of that weight, dude. And I think now she's probably down to 300 pounds, which is still really bad. But guess what? 300 pounds from 450 is, that is like life-changing, dude. We're talking about major differences in the face. And she looks absolutely gorgeous compared to the where she, where she was before. And that's really sad. Uh, just to really think about that, like she still looks like a, be a boiled foot, but she looks so significantly better, like a boiled foot without any bunions or an athlete's foot on it. It's uh, life changing. So that just goes to tell you that like, you don't know what you look like. Can you please try? Can we try to get that to an, like a, a degree to where you can see what you look like actually? No, we can't do that because we have to eat uh, uh, just a lot of food in a day, dude, and have big ass plates. And can we try to, like, make recipes, too? Like, I get the air fryer exists, but, like, you guys act like you don't have stoves. God damn. So this is where, like, I wouldn't even be surprised if you told me this plate was, like, a thousand calories, dude. Chinese food is notorious for the amount of calories that they put in there. I mean, you're basically deep frying literally everything. And you're also getting the extra calories from the Asian man's hand, the Chinese man's hands that he's putting into the food, which adds the flavor. Definitely, 100%. You're looking at literally 50, 60 years of built-up seasonings built up culture in that guy's hands and now he's imbuing it into your food you're getting seasonings i mean to be honest dude after you're done eating chinese food sometimes i feel a little bit oriental sometimes i feel like i might have to celebrate chinese new year or something like that because of how hyped up i am after i eat it two chicken sandwiches one with cheese and one without that's not good but it's okay i mean it's not the best damn drinking it Pickles are okay, by the way. As a fat girl who's not trying to lose weight, and today's a really bad one. I had my first feel around 2 p.m. where I had toast and chai. Okay. I love toast and chai. It's one of my With butter, by the way. There was butter on that. It was wet. I saw it. it. There's some lubrication on the top of that. Can you guys see it right here? That's some lubrication. There's some creaminess to it a little bit. And I'm a big fan of the creaminess. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the creaminess. That's never, that's never dissuaded me. Matter of fact, that might actually be a benefit. I had my first feel around 2 p.m. where I had toast and chai. I love toast and chai. It's one of my favorites. But then when I was studying, like seven hours had passed and it was 9 p.m. 
So I ordered in. I got Dave's hot chicken and I love their food so much. Their fries are just the top tier. I love them. The pickles, the chicken, everything was ten. It's it, you know what, dude? It's not the worst if this is like all she ate in the day. It's okay. But I mean, the fa- the fast food is almost always gonna increase your calories. I don't know how much calories she needs in a day, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if it was something around two thousand to two thousand two hundred. I wouldn't be surprised if today she probably, I don't know. I wouldn't say she went over it, but this is just an isolated incident for a lot of these people. By the way, you got a little bit of something extra on your shirt right there. Might want to scoop that off. But anyway, what I eat in a day as a big back that be eating. What I eat in a day as a big back that be eating. Gluten-free bagel and cream cheese. Potatoes, turkey, bacon, and mushroom omelet. Coconut water. Almond croissant. Salmon Caesar salad. I can't hate on it, dude. If, if these people ate half as good as the way that they portray themselves eating, dude, I would have no issue with these people at all. But given the fact that they literally maintain close to like two to 300 pounds consistently and year round, there is no way this makes any sense. And you know what? I know a lot of people that watch these guys are probably thinking, wow, you know, you are such an anomaly. You're such a, it's such a crazy thing that you are literally only eating as much as I eat. You actually are eating less than what I eat in a day. And somehow you are maintaining that 200, 300 pounds. Like, how is that even, I don't know how that's possible. You must be really, really special. No, they're not special. You know what it is? They're lying to you. And you know what? It's fine. They can totally just lie to us if they want to, bro. But it's not right. It's not cool. Okay. It's like being in a relationship with your boyfriend. And then that one night you come home late and you find him on the couch beating off the gay porn. Just tell me that you're gay, bro. I knew that this was something that happened. You literally had dildo collections before I even met you. And you were saying like, Oh no, this is for my last girlfriend. How is it for your last girlfriend, dude? You were literally putting in your butt cheeks. Okay. Regardless, the point I'm making is these people are lying to you, okay? They're putting on an illusion. They're trying to make it seem like they're not actually eating as much as they are. When, like, let's be honest here for a second. It's actually really offensive that these people will sit there and they'll try to tell you that they're not eating as much or they'll put on this display that they're not eating as much when they'll maintain that weight. Do you think I'm dumb? Do you think I'm stupid, dude? Obviously, I know that you're not eating. You're, you're obviously eating way more than whatever the fuck you're telling me you're eating. How much uh, the carbs are, you know, through the roof. The carbs are through the roof on most people's diets. It's carbs are very easy. For a long time, people used to think that what is the main way that people are gaining weight? Oh, fat. It's fat. It's fat. Red meat, fat, and red meat. Nope, it's not. It's not even close, actually. It's carbs. Carbohydrates. And I love carbs in my mouth, all over my mouth, and lower back. I love it. But that doesn't change the fact that it's very, 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 very easy to eat very high amounts of calories from carbs. With carrots, cucumber, and flatbread. Potato chips. Yeah. How many potato chips, though? I would need to know that, dude. Damn. Some of these people be looking like they're 10, 15 years older than they actually are. And I hope that's a tattoo right there, bro. I really hope that's a tattoo right there. But some of these people, real real deal, you get, you get, you get out what you put in. These people are eating literal garbage consistently. And also, look at the ambiguity of the way that they eat. I had some potato chips. How much is some? How many bags? How many bags did you body? How many family size bags did you body? Because you never know, bro. They're just one potato chip. Don't lie to me, dude. Nobody eats one potato chip. Most people are eating like five or six or seven. And if you're a big back, self-admitted, this person saying that, it's probably more close to a bag. Let's be honest. Oh, look at that. Ceviche. Which is just basically chips already. It's just deep fried tortillas, right? That's all that is. Adult bevy, I forgot what it was, but it was so good. Yeah, probably a lot Steak of calories. with fingerling potatoes and garlic Brussels sprouts. How do these people get to go out to eat so often, man? I just don't understand. Like, are you guys like always perpetually in debt? Do you guys like not care that your account is perpetually empty? Are you guys just making so much money that you guys just don't care? Like what? I see this a lot with people that are doing the what I eat a day videos or people that are very, very overweight, they're eating a lot, they're eating out a lot. And I always think like, how do you do that? How do you, can you tell me about that real quick? How are you able to eat out as much as you are? That's an anomalous thing to me. You guys must have a lot of money or you guys are in continual debt. With the horseradish omelet. Oh. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, well, you know what? I might've spoke too soon when I said these people are lying to you. 
uh, this is probably running her like three, 400 calories easily, dude. And you know what? I don't know. In a day, this might actually be perfectly reflected of a, somebody that's just eating way too much compared to what they actually need to be eating. And you know what? We all have those days when we should be eating less than we know this is right. And you know what, dude? It's I. But this person doing it consistently is the reason why they're gaining weight. So it is what it is on that particular front, dude. Uh, you can go ahead and eat as much as you want, dude. It's most definitely not good because you're literally gaining weight consistently. But if you like food in your mouth and you like ice cream and stuff like that, it is what it is. You can indulge a little bit. I just hope that if you're going to indulge a little bit, can we do it at least a little bit? Not like literally every single day. But anyway. Pizza okay, okay love well, you, Bob. damn. All right, dude. You know what, dude? Yeah. I mean, if you're a girl... I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm just trying to be like honest with you guys. If you're a girl, most of the time you're only going to need like, I don't know, maybe at most 2000 calories, maybe a little bit more depending on how tall you are. And most of the time when I see these people eat, they're eating way over 2000 calories because a lot of people don't even actually know that they need to eat that much. So they presume because they see other people around them eating 3000 or even 4000 calories a day. Well, I'm not eating as much as them, but you're still eating way more than what you need. And you do that consistently a lot. Uh, you'll gain weight. So I'm not surprised that this person is big. And then also, I got to keep it a buck with you, dude. If you order this pizza, which it looks like you did, they did a disservice to you. They fucking sliced this shit up so sloppily that it, like, they, look how big this slice is in comparison to this slice. And look at this slice. This slice, oh, I guess they kind of cut it right here. But even still, they did not try at all, bro. They basically just took it out the oven and some guy that probably had like Michael J. Fox disease, right? Uh, he probably cut this shit up, dude. Welcome to what I ate in a day in my plus size body at Disneyland at Christmas time. So I started things off right away with a mint chip churro. The churros came very highly recommended to me and it did. Interracial for the win, dude. I love it, dude. I have no problem with interracial relationships at all. I've only ever been in interracial relationships, but mine are better than most, okay? I'm the snow bunny. Okay, I'm not the woman. I'm the dude. When have you ever seen, with the exception of that weird Cheerio commercial, a uh, white guy with a black girl? You never see that, dude. I'm an anomaly, okay? Look how cool I am, okay? I'm not dating black women, by the way, just because they're black. I am throwing my fishing rod out and reeling it in, and black ladies appear. So, anyway, um, I'm totally cool with this, by the way, but uh, I really want to know, man. Isn't Disney World, like, really expensive, dude? Like, isn't it, like, thousands of dollars to go there? And then also, isn't it, like, a lot of money to eat? Given that, like, bro, going to, like, the zoo. I remember I was at the zoo, and I went to, like, the place where you could buy food. And I was like, oh, how much are your burgers? And the guy behind the counter was like, hey, si, senor, is going to be, uh, you want the double cheeseburger, my friend? You want the wachata? Is 11.50? And I was like, bro, 11.50? For one burger dude uh not worth it not worth it i get it i'm in the environment and this is like the culture of the zoo or whatever but you guys are charging way too much for a cheeseburger bro and i know that's just dry as fuck because i literally saw a kid coughing to death because he took one bite of that shit and then clint eastwood came out of his mouth that's how dry it was mint chip churro the churros came very highly recommended to me and it did not disappoint. It was so good. I didn't have any icing to dip it in, but Ooh, I liked it better. that looks terrible, dude. What is that? Is that like the exaggeration of what a piece of meat should look like? That looks terrible. It did not disappoint. It was so good. I didn't have any icing to dip it in. Am I wrong, dude? Oh my God, that looks terrible, dude. Am I wrong? It looks dry as shit. Like, you, why is it, like, put some Vaseline on that thing? And, but I liked it that way. Curtis got a... Man, I got sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Huh. That's a good name. Huh. Curtis? You sure it's not Dwayne? You sure it's not Rokeeb? Are you sure it's not... <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Buffalo turkey leg. And I took this one bite and... What's her name? Kathleen? Oh, Nicole? I guess. It's okay. It's all right, dude. My name is David, right? Generic, basic, white dude name, okay? I get it, right? It was really, really good. It made a huge mess all over my face. Dude, get a napkin, okay? Stop. Don't wipe it away with your fucking fingers. Don't... Delicious. Do uh, forgot to mention, this is also what my daughter ate in a day. So she had her milk. I had a grande iced Americano with some cream. And That's then too many syllables. had some more puffs for a snack while I ate this pork shawarma um this was basically an oh my god i haven't eaten in hours and i'm starving and everyone else is going on a ride so i'm gonna have a shawarma um and then they went on another ride that i didn't want to go damn on, so bro I had a corn dog. five out of ten for the pizza too is like really bad you can't really fuck up pizza dude so that shit must be really bad 
if the pizza is that low quality, dude, and you're telling me that shit is like, damn, that's uh, that's really sad, dude. And it was it was pretty good. Uh, the pizza, I, I could have left it. It was good. I liked the density of the crust, but I was glad that I went with my corn. If dog. you're just eating just to eat, it is what it is. Like, a lot of times I see big back people just eating whatever the fuck because it is what it is, dude. I don't really care about the flavor. I don't care about the texture. I don't care about anything like that. And I've had those moments, too, when you just fry up or you just cook up some... You know, some 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 McNuggets or nuggets in general with some fries on the side, dude. It's quick. It's easy. It doesn't taste like anything. I guess you can coat it in ketchup or barbecue sauce, whatever your preferred uh, condiment is, and uh, you eat it. That's just what it is. But for these people to be going to a luxury place such as Disney World, I don't know if you can call it luxury or not, but you're spending a lot of money, so I'm guessing it's luxury, and you're not getting good quality food, it's tough. That's tough, dude. Five out of ten for a pizza is insane, especially at a place like Disney World. Dog. Instead of pizza, I just took a bite of Curtis's there. Can You can just buy pickles? How much was the pickle? Like $3? And then this is about when I realized, why is everything that I'm eating today so phallic-shaped? Uh, two more churros. What I eat in a day as a fat girl trying to lose less brain cells thinking about dieting all the time. Period. Slay queen. Totally true. Don't try to lose weight. Don't try to lose weight. Because if you do that, you're losing brain cells as a consequence of that. Even though you're literally working out your mind to calculate the amount of calories you need, understand nutrition. I mean, you're literally learning. But you know what? You're totally right. You're burning calories. Stop it. I'm starving. Let's eat. I feel like these people never, they have never known starvation ever in their entire life. By the way, if your kneecap is inverting like this, you got an issue, okay? Maybe you should be looking into burning some of those brain brain cells as well because that actually might benefit you in the long term given the fact that your kneecap is literally inverting like you're an aardvark. Okay. Oh man, I know about that grapefruit, dude. I've heard about that. Okay. All right, she's pretending that she eats this. Where's the McDonald's at? Okay. Um. I can't. I can't hate on it. Well. So far, so far, so good. If this is what she actually eats in a day, dude, I'm impressed. But uh, usually, these people have like the end of the day. They start to they start to slack off. And somebody that is as big as this woman is most definitely not just eating this in a day, bro. There's some other shit going on. Okay. Why are you dancing? Maybe it's just like a girl thing, right? Maybe it's just a girl thing. Because like I've been around a lot of dudes. And even the food that is the most desirable. I've never seen a dude just go or do one of these. I've never seen one of that from a guy. Uh, maybe like a really, really homosexual guy. But even then, no. I, I've seen a lot of girls just eating just the most slop food ever. And they're dancing. And I'm just thinking, why? Uh, is it really that good? And I take a bite and it's like, oh, it's not that good. Why are you dancing for it? And they're like, oh, I don't know. I'm just so happy that it's here. I guess. I guess, dude. You know what I don't understand about people that drink crambuchas is like you're drinking it for what? You're drinking it for the bio, the fucking whatever, the organisms inside of it or whatever, the nutritional value, the, the deep whatever, right? But you're eating like slop for the rest of the day. I just don't understand how these people like... What is the order of operations in your guys' life to understand? It's like people that do makeup, like, religiously, but you're overweight. What are you doing, dude? You got bigger... Like, if I'm being honest with you, dude, losing weight should be the incentivization. If you want to make yourself beautiful, the makeup is doing literally nothing at all. In the same sense here, like, you're drinking kombucha, but you're, like, 400 pounds. What are you doing, dude? Like, can we... You're mid-maxing where you haven't even started the game yet. You're literally... You're still at the main menu. And you're trying to like input like what build you want. You haven't even started the game, bro. Why are you sitting here sucking down crab booches? You might as well. It just to me, it makes no sense. I think I like the pink lady one better though. Yeah, yeah totally. I agree. Cutting her own bread. Okay. Why are you cutting it in your hand? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hey, bro. Um, she's lying. <laughs> I'm gonna call it right now. She's lying. All that stuff. There's no way she's eating that. Just that in a day, dude. That woman was big. Okay. Let's be honest here for a second. I'm not trying to be mean. Let's be honest. There was there was more food in that day.
before we play the rest of this video, right, I just want to point out the fact that a lot of people tell me, David, Corey, he's just doing it as like a publicity scent. He's, he's not actually gaining a lot of weight. He's either eating the food or he's like purging it later, or it's not like he's he's not actually eating as much as he says he is. Look at the look at the weight on the face, okay? Look at the weight on the neck. Look at the weight on the uh, lower body. Corey is most definitely gaining weight. And that's okay. It's obvious that you have to be gaining weight, especially if you're eating as much as he is. And I also have to disrespect him on the Crocs. Anybody that wears Crocs, it's just, I don't know what else to tell you. They're terrible, disgusting shoes. I will die on this hill. I will never buy them. I will never look at them with anything other than disgust and, and absolute pity upon the person. Because listen, if you think those are looking good, dude, you got a lot of problems, dude. Crocs with sand, Crocs with, with socks, crazy, disgusting. But anyway, if you like Crocs, you like Crocs. I just disagree with that. Also, yeah, he has a lot of weight in his face. Anyway, if you don't like seeing a fat person eat thousands of calories in one day, then stop. Such a crazy ass way to start the video, dude. You gotta, you gotta start the video off with the disclaimer just to make sure that everybody knows that you're about to do some craziness in this video. Um, by the way, whatever this thing is, is deplorable. It's disgusting. This is like the shit that Smeagol was going to turn into if he kept the ring in his hand watching as you know i've been oh. on a health kick the last few weeks but i'm hungover french fries coated in cheese it looks like i did not imagine that we're in birmingham today so that's well and truly gone out the window i had cheesy chips for breakfast and that gave me just enough energy to get to wear the spoons for my second breakfast. I, I always see Corey going oh my god guys so last night i went out and i drank a lot of alcohol oh my god so the next day obviously i have to go to a pizza a shop to make sure they can get the cheese all over my french fries oh i love them by the way they're so good and you know i have to go to mackey's it's always he always sets himself up for failure dude he he lives a you know thinking about a person i don't know i don't know how much responsibility he's taken in his life but he he likes to go out quite a bit he likes to spend a lot of time drinking a lot of alcoholic beverages and then subsequently right after that drinking and eating a lot of calories and you know what it's an endless it's an endless ouroboros for him he's going to continuously fall down this this same pit hole of eating and uh, drinking and then doing that all over again kind of like a gay man that's deeply closeted that doesn't know why he's watching the gay porn but he's gonna do it anyway a lot of people are really closeted nowadays and it's really like cool it's fine like if you want to be closeted that's completely fine but just reveal yourself it's okay dude and like a lot of, not me, I would never be gay. And that's, <clears throat> I would never want to be gay because I love the sensation of a woman. But for a lot of these people uh, that are gay, dude, just come out, dude. It's all right. Nobody cares anymore. It's not powerful, by the way. I know a lot of people go like, oh my God, like I made a really big decision and I came out as gay. And I'm just thinking like, yeah, well, like whatever, dude. My fucking grandmother came out as gay like fucking two years ago, dude. Like, I don't care that you came out as gay. What do you mean it's brave? What's brave about coming out as gay, dude? I don't care that you like, well, yeah, the, the real brave, the real bravery would be, do you prefer foreskinned or non-foreskinned? That would be the question. Breakfast. I went for a chicken wrap and chip. Obviously, I removed the salad, and this was 10 10. I got love it. it in you gotta move the salad, dude, obviously. Birmingham. They have so much food option, and they even have trains in the middle of the road. It's proper posh here. An essential hangover is something cold. I've gone for a tangy cold. ice black. Dude, cold. Okay? Why are we adding extra syllables randomly? Cold. Cold. I don't even know how you begin to say that word. Can I see somebody pronounce that? Cold. Cold. Do you have to stick out your tongue when you say that? Isn't it just cold? Why can't you just say cold? The next step's got to be yeah, bro. You cannot be going to these places, bro. You, you, you got an issue. You're gaining weight. I know you're gaining weight because you look like you're gaining weight. And then you also look like five years older than you should be like all the time, dude. I know Corey's like, what, 28 or something like that. Dude, Corey looks like he's in his mid thirties and that's uh, not good. You should look your age uh, uh, or about your age. But a lot of these fat people do look a lot older than they actually are, so. Some noodles, we've come to chopsticks. I got salt and pepper chicken with curry sauce. As we're in England, it'd be rude not to come to Dixie chicken. This was my second chicken wrap of the day and my third Damn. portion of Ooh. chips. But it's definitely needed on a hangover like this. This was top tier, made no, by the hands of God. Seven up too, dude. Gotta get that, that authentic seven up, dude. Dude, not that Sprite. Not Sprite, dude. You're a pussy if you like Sprite. We only fuck with the 7-Up here. And in. All the people in Birmingham are so friendly. And it's such a nice city. Usually I think it's crazy that the people have the biggest problem. Like, even if even if Corey didn't have a big problem with eating food, it almost kind of seems like this particular type of content is going to be the precipice to the reason why he has a problem with eating food. Because he's getting a lot of views. 
uh, based off of the overindulgence of food. So it's going to encourage him to make more videos on the overindulgence of food. So even if he didn't have a problem with doing it, like maybe he only ate what he needed to, but people like he saw that he was getting more reception based off of the fact that he was eating more and more food, kind of like a lot of women fall into this 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 hole of trying to appeal to social media and sure men can fall into this hole too but it's like less so especially for this particular example but a lot of women will post on social media like regular posts like oh my god hey guys i'm doing a fit check or whatever but maybe you get more reception based off of less clothes. So like maybe you're wearing a crop top and then people in the comments actually going, whoa, your belly button is exquisite. It's delectable. It's absolutely desirable beyond the extent. And then you go, hmm, I'm getting a lot of people telling me that my belly button is delectable. Maybe I should show off more of my belly button. Then you show off more of your belly button. You get a lot of reception, but it's not enough reception. So maybe you start cutting the shorts slower. Maybe you start wearing less socks. Maybe you show your boobs, and then next thing you know, you're on OnlyFans having sex with corn cobs. It happens like that. The point I'm making is, it's like a negative feedback loop. And the more you encourage that particular type of content, the more it's gonna breed into you. And maybe you don't even believe in this particular type of thing, but because you keep doing it over and over and over again, you are breeding the bad behavior because it's giving you good it's giving you good reception back and social media is a double-edged sword it could be both amazing and it could both be uh terrible disgusting absolutely horrid beyond belief but ultimately that's okay because you have to be the one that chooses what you do and do not say and how you operate within that particular environment and hopefully you're uh, adult enough to be able to navigate that realm but for some people they're just not, and you end up like Corey. Be on a hangover. I wouldn't dare step foot in a Toby car. Dude, I want to know how much money this guy makes in a fucking month, dude. Because like this guy is literally eating out four, five, six, seven times today. Am I wrong? Like how many times is he eating out today, bro? Literally, the video's not even over yet either. He's gotta like he's gotta have a ton, a ton, a ton of money. How much money do you make off these videos, bro? It's, it's like actually insane to see somebody eating out four times in a day five times in a day and then do that from one day to the next and then also you're not even recording you going out to the the bar or the club that you were at the night before you know drinking down the amount of drinks that you were drinking like i would really love to know what these guys like at the end of the month when you're going over your expenses and your bank like you see your your bank receipt right your 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 monthly how you spent your money and shit by your bank your bank statement uh do you not look at that and go oh my god like how do you how do you what do you what do you say to yourself to make it seem like that's okay? Because you got to be spending like 40, 50, 60 bucks every single time you go to one of these restaurants. And sometimes you're probably spending way more than that because he's going to deluxe restaurants. So he might be spending upwards of 100 or 200 dollars per restaurant easily. And he's doing this multiple times a day and he's doing this multiple times a week as well. It's just how much money do you have, dude? Aubrey, because it's always boiling in there, and that's the last thing you need on a hangover. But I was craving a cooked dinner. That look, this all looks bad, okay? Like, if I walked into a shop like this, dude, and I saw all that food, that, first of all, that looks like something you would see in, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, you would go down to the basement with, like, Leatherface, and it would just, you would just see this. This is always boiling this would in be there, the, and that's this the This would last be thing. all the people he killed, and, like, maybe he was eating it. There's, Dude, look at the trash, okay? Like, let's be honest here for a second. This is pretty much exactly what that is you might as well just toss that in there and by the way um i get it you want to keep the trash nearby so you can throw stuff away can we please if we're a restaurant understand that having the trash next to the food that people are going to eat is not so good people are going to see that and they're going to see that as well and they're going to go well i don't think i want to eat that anymore because the trash is literally two feet away from it i think probably move the trash somewhere else like behind a wall or maybe in the back room or something like that this is a bad place for it dude Thing you need on a hangover but i was craving a cooked dinner and although i've eaten shit loads of food today i feel absolutely starving True. So we had to cook. i mean this is what happens when you eat as frequently as you do dinner for tea i went for lamb and beef and this is all inclusive so you can help yourself as oh much my as you god want. I got bro yorkie porky, mac and cheese. you did not put dry ass mac and cheese in that dry ass biscuit dude he's stuffing and roast oh my these god. i hope this guy put some lubrication on that shit this shit looks dry as Fuck. When leaks and just to balance out my day, I got some warm green lettuce, mashed potato, and shit loads of gravy. Okay. Apparently, you can't get a Toby Carvey anywhere else in the world. So this makes me feel extra lucky to be British. How unreal is that? I seen all your comments telling me to go to Cadbury World, but I didn't get a chance in between all the. I don't know why it's like if people are commenting, do something, dude. That doesn't mean you go and do it, right? We we all know that, right? Like there have been people that have commented, David, be gay. Like you think I'm just gonna be gay? No, obviously not. So like just because somebody says to do something doesn't mean that you do it, bro. You do realize you have free will and like you can decide what you do and do not do, right?
Like, you don't have to do this stuff. Eating today, but I definitely need something sweet while I'm still in Birmingham. So for the last so, stop of the day, we popped a Greg's. Oh, don't man, dude, like how many? I just, I'm sorry, dude. The amount of money this guy spends, like, can you? Here, I got you, bro. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna blow your mind real quick, okay? If you have no, if that money is just burning a hole in your pocket, like you just don't care about that shit, let, do me a favor real quick. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna DM you my, uh, I'm gonna DM you my bank information. Anytime you feel like you're about to body slam some food and you think that it's gonna taste good in your mouth or whatever, go ahead and send me that money in my bank. I would really love that, bro. Oh my God, man. That shit will be good. I'll probably be stacked up by that first month. Literally, like, just stacks and stacks of cash, bro. Um, and, you know, it would be good for you, too, because it was, it's, a, it's a lesson to learn that ultimately that's what you're doing already. Like, I mean, granted, you're definitely getting food out of it, but think about the satisfaction that I would get with your money. It's the same thing that those chefs back there that are making that food that's actually not even really food, and you don't even need to be eating it to that degree since you're literally eating four times more than what you need a day, so you're literally just throwing away, not only you throwing money, but you're just making your life progressively ass because you're just stacking on useless weight on your body that's literally doing nothing just to satisfy the mouth cravings that you have when you could literally just be sending me that money and i would love it <laughs> i mean i'm gonna volunteer right now Corey. if you ever get the urge to want to spend money dude and you know that's just just burning a hole in your pocket send it to me i'll take that anyway do corned beef pasties in England. Thank God they do spiky Mikey's. Happy Tuesday, you sexy sods. You've all been that. What, what a great life to live, dude. Just like eating out five, six, seven times a day, dude, and then finishing the night with another eat out. Where is the jawline? Getting us to go to Newport Market. So this is where we've come. God damn, Corey. Every day. And before anybody says, these are new videos. This is like videos that came out yesterday. Okay. Like he's doing this shit all day long every day and i get it this is your content some people set themselves up for failure dude this shit this is bad this is not good today you're asking for it you're dying for it now you can get off my back first place we've stopped at is burger boys can you imagine going like i'm doing what people ask me to do so don't ask me to do this anymore bro you are in such a privileged position dude you're literally out here blaming other people for your bad decisions bro just because somebody tells you to to, to smoke crack and you smoke that crack, I'd be like, dude, I did it for you guys. No, you didn't. You did it for your lungs. You did it for yourself. You wanted to do that shit. Not for me. If I tell you to do something and you do it, I'm not going to be like, oh, man, that's my fault. Nah, you did it. You're an adult. I went for barbecue chicky chips, and this was 10 out of 10. Second stop's flour and ash. I went for the four cheese pizza. Damn, bro. A whole pizza to yourself? God damn, bro. You're still at the same restaurant, too? Four cheesy. The dough was so flowery. They have a new cheese stall, yeah? It's called... Yeah, bro, what are we talking about? Can we just shut the fuck up for a second, dude? What are you talking about? We have a new cheese store. This, 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 this type of aroma here reminds me of, like, Nickelodeon slime time. Like, I'm pretty sure they just stole the props from that show and they just threw it on the wall and they painted it yellow. I've never heard of a cheese store before. This is some pure big back shit, bro. Walls. And you've all been tagging me, asking me to come here. So we got two cheese coins, and I actually can't get over the cheese pull. Leah did win the cheese pull competition today. But have you ever seen anything quite like it? How insane. Really, really cheesy. This nah, was I don't really care, bro. Honestly, it's it's like whatever, bro. You're, you're, you're really doing your body a disservice right now. That shit is literally hitting your stomach right now. And it's like a... <laughs> With the amount of slop that you're eating in a day. Definitely Corey's World Certified. I'll give God it a 10 out damn. Of 10. Obviously, we can't come to Newport Markets without going to the Cheesecake Guy. We're going to have that later. Bro. Tonight, we're staying in the Cozy Cinema. We've stayed in the Cardiff one. But they've only just opened their Newport branch. So we had to come down and see what it was like. You have your own pod. And it's like having your own cinema room. Me and Leah are film junkies. So this is by far the perfect date night for us. They have so many film options. The first film of choice was date night. Whilst digging into this. You got Netflix. You're you're just watching Netflix, bro. What are you talking about? Was that not Netflix? They even gave you a PlayStation, a PlayStation 4 controller to watch the Netflix. I hope it's at least 4K, bro. For us, they have so how many much, film options. How much money did you spend on this shit, bro? It, it, bro, that's insane, dude. That's crazy. 
you literally spend how much money on all this shit just to go to an establishment to watch date night i love steve carell as much as the next guy but come on dude how you just Bro, I'm being serious, bro. Send me that money, bro. You're good. You don't need to go out anymore. You've gone out enough, bro. Trust me, that money will be going to a good cause. First film of Chokes was date night whilst digging into this milky bar cookie dough. Oh my God. And by the way, you ain't gonna ever catch me going to an establishment that I'm laying down and, and putting blankets on, dude. I don't know about that. That's like a makeshift bed or something, right? Uh, How many people have got the, cle the cheeks clapped in that particular room, dude? How many, how many... Uh, nut butters is on the floor, on the, on the blankets, on the thing. Do they clean up the establishment? How well do they clean it up? Why does it smell like that in here? What is that midget doing in the corner? I'm just questioning the things that should be questioned. It's so juicy and succulent. Then we watched, I feel like, what is this shit, bro? You're telling me you really gonna, where, where the bed bugs at? You know what I'm talking about, dude? I just don't trust it. Pretty. Leah insisted on taking my Forrest Gump virginity. You, you really, bro, what are you talking about? You never watched Forrest Gump before, dude? What a shame. What a wholesome film. <laughs> Obviously, no date nights complete without a takeaway. We've ordered from Atlantic a <laughs> snack bar. I God went for a damn. God damn, Corey. God damn. What you spent, like $800 today, bro? <laughs> god damn bro let me get it let throw it to me bro I'll, I'll, you could literally make it rain on me with bro. sausage and egg and fried onions and a portion of chips leah went for hot dog and chips oh my god bro you got the bbc hot dog Oh my good golly. Date night's not complete without a big sausage. We finished off the night watching my comfort film, Wrong Turn. If you're watching this now, this is your sign to book the cozy cinema. It was unreal. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in bracelet because I have one here. It's a hair tie actually, but it's a bracelet for me because I have lacking of hair. I'm follically challenged. Therefore, this is just going to be on my wrist and I kind of like it on my wrist. I don't know. A lot of people say I'm a zest fest because I have it on my wrist. Uh, I'm not gay for that, dude. What are you talking about? Like people are literally walking around with crop tops as men and you don't call them zest fest, but here I am a masculine, big meated man with a hair tie for a bracelet and you think i'm a zest fest you're lying to yourself stop it okay i'm the most masculine man you've ever seen in your life trust me on that dude i'm so masculine i'm okay with women making more money than me hashtag equality anyway um i love you i care for you i think you're an amazing person thank you for spending time with me today i really enjoy that by the way you look really really fantastic today by the way I was just gazing at you, and I couldn't believe that you looked as delicioso as you did. And I don't care that you're a man or woman. It it really doesn't matter to me, and I'm not even looking at you in that particular way. I'm literally looking at you as a delectable human being, not not like somebody I want to eat if I was like a cannibal or something like that, just like in a general sense of a mm -mm -mm good person, a delicioso person, good aura, good amazing texture, quality of life is delicious. You smells like a good person. I love it. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, be sure to do that. It's all linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Oh, thank you, everybody that's a subscriber and everybody that's a member of the channel. You guys are amazing. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.